for you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Can you turn it sideways so we can sideways. now sideways so I can read the name? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna show you how this works. Mask strap around. Okay, she's got the mask on. We're gonna do several tests. Alright, so is it comfortable? Nice. Can you breathe okay? Okay. Cool. See? So there's a snorkel. As you can see, the snorkel comes out of your head. Which is okay. Nice. So this is a great section right here for you to see what happens with the mask. She's diving in, so you can see all the way submerged. She's around. Don't really see any water. You see some water coming through under the chin. That's how he gets rid of the water. Very nice. As you can see, the mask is not fogged up at all. There are, there is water in it, but not enough to bother you. Very nice. Again, complete submersion. Water comes out. Lean forward. As you lean forward, you can see the water comes out better than when you lean back. When you lean back, it goes to the back. You're going to lean forward for the water to come out. The mouth part is foggy, but the rest is nice and clear. So, can you stay submerged for a little longer? So here we go, longer submersion. Very nice. Right back down there. Good, how's clarity in the mask? Very nice on the water, good. Have you tried a different mask? I've tried two different masks. We tried, this is the tribor, and we also tried the snorkeling gear, which is on Amazon for 55 and I got this one on for about 55 58 depending on the color and the size on Amazon. It's about the same price. And then I like them both. I think I like this one better because it's more comfortable on my face. Can you try the other one and see what you think? What? Yeah, So this is a side-by-side -side comparison of two masks. Yeah, the tri-board is more expensive on some other sites, but I think the price has gone down on the Amazon, so they're So we're going to do the same things. We're going to do submersion. We're going to start with regular snorkel. You can adjust the straps on it, make it a little bit tighter. Same way. Nice. So you can see the snorkel, it can go in the water, but you can see the snorkel blocking it. Very nice. Yeah, there's the submersion, complete dive. Very nice. There we go again, complete dive. Well, not complete dive, but submersion. You can see the water. 
definitely see the water. You can see it. Can you lean forward? There goes the water. See how it releases the water? So it releases the water through that valve, but it does not take water in through that valve. The water that gets in gets in through the snorkel. Yeah. Can you do like a handstand or, or a flip or anything? Alright. Move towards me. Gonna do a dive. And she's down. Feet come completely up. Alright. We're gonna try this again. So complete dive. Try to do a handstand. There we go. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that was very really nice. Yes. Wow. So all the way through. Yeah. Happy customer here. So let's see. Uh, let's see what she has to say about it. Okay, so you, you've tried both. You tried tri-board and what is this one? Snorkeling gear. Snorkeling gear. First day, I didn't like it. Because I thought the water was getting trapped. But today, now that I understand how it works, see? See the water coming out? Yeah. I feel a lot more comfortable. And I think it's growing on me. I think I like it. Uh, preference? Preference. Which one do you like better? Here, can you hold this uh, the other one? Um, or do you really care? Well, I didn't like this the first day because I felt some pressure on the bridge of my nose. But today I don't feel it, so maybe you just have to loosen it up a little bit. Or your nose got smaller. Or my nose got smaller. Okay, not likely. But anyway. So I tried them both. Um, I don't think that there really is any difference. 